Hey, this is Eric Fiorello of Fiorello Barbell Company here in Albany, New York. And I got a mail from uh, Brandon off Google Plus, and he wanted me to tell him a little bit about how we set up the tires for deadlifting. You can deadlift row, you can power clean, you can press overhead with these, etc., etc. First off, the, the bar came from Atomic Athletic, Roger LaPointe. He's a good friend of mine. I've done business with him for years. This is a York Circa 1970 bar. I bought it used. So I want a super strong bar with good knurling. I paid uh, close to $200 for it. If you call Roger or email him at atomicathletic.com, I'm sure he'll help you out with anything. He's a great guy to work with. Second of all, if you look into this bar, into the tire itself, you're going to basically see the piece that is all bolted through the rim itself and what this does is it has a cylinder a piece where the end of the Olympic bar fits right in it so it's two inches approximately that's how you get your bar and it locks in obviously on the other side you can see where we nut it all down and then you have your collar so you can see the two inch end right through the sleeve here uh, thirdly the tires came from a junkyard you can get them at any junkyard these are 15 inch uh, tires, I think they're off a of Chevy. They work fine, obviously, if you want to go bigger, you're going to have to go to a 5 bolt pattern. These are 4 bolt pattern, he didn't make anything more than that, so I don't know. And he can be reached at David Horn Dash Grip Master, I believe he is, dot com, well, let me verify that. That is correct, David Horn Dash Grip Master dot com. He's uh, located in the UK. This guy is a monster gripper. He's probably the best in the entire world. So you can contact him. I'm sure he'll help you out via email. But what I'll do here is just show you uh, basic deadlift and uh, bent row with this. So this thing's smooth as can be. So you're going to come up. Obviously, you're going to grab it right here at the end of the neural. You're going to slide down. You're going to look up, back flat, and pull. Okay, so there's your bent row. Secondly, we'll do a deadlift here. You know, deadlift like anything, you're going to grab the knurls again. Going to position your hands. Going to be looking down here until you're ready to roll. You slide it back a little bit. And as you hit your shins, you pop up straight. Always looking forward, never looking down, because if you look down, takes you down. Your weight takes you down. So this little thing here is a great way to work out. It's a little bit higher than a 45 or 100 pound plate. Um, the tires weigh approximately 40 pounds. Now a 45 pound plate is 45 pounds. So you're going you're gonna to get, get maybe about, well we'll put a 45 pound plate right up next to it so you can see how much more you're going to get. So this is an old school so there you go so you got you probably got about two inches at least there or more height so that's what you're going to gain with it be if you want to call it a little partial you can call it a partial whatever you want to do so Brandon I hope this helps you out you got any more questions or anybody you know has questions, you can get us at FiorellaBarbellCo.com uh, or you can get a hold of me at FiorellaBarbell at NICAP.R.com. I'd be glad to help you out anytime. Good luck. Thanks.